to ensure that the University of Nairobi is not removed from the map of Kenya. It can't happen. Yeah. <laughs> so we have said we must, as we continue discussing on how to, to get more money, uh, let us start to just try as much as possible to live close to our means. But let us also see how to improve the revenue. Okay? And that's why we said, okay, uh, this, this, even though we will not charge any extra fee to the student who are with us, those who are students, we will not increase fees to students. Because you know to become a student, you need to register to get a registration number. So those who are students, we don't charge any extra fee. But those who join us in the future, we will tell them that the fee is this one. They tell us, no, I, I, I will join now or I will join next year when I have that money. Then you tell them, fine, you come when you have the money. Because we, have, we are offering a social service. And we realize that we have a responsibility to provide opportunities for access to higher education to all those who need it. But when we do this, we also realize that we need to be there tomorrow to offer for those who come today and to offer education to those who come tomorrow. So we have to discuss with you to ensure that you leave us alive. When we offer, you don't suck us like a tick, you do. Get it? You know, ticks, you need to take blood so that they can survive, isn't it? They, they, some of them take blood so that they can lay their eggs and all that. Some of them would come and in the process the animal dies. The tick die and the animal die. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> you get it? So we want to ensure that when you come to study at the University of Nairobi, you go out happy, you have been trained, and you leave us also to receive others. The issue of relevance of the University of Nairobi is very important. The issue of vibrancy of the University of Nairobi is very important. As a result, we have also tried to say, okay, how many courses can we afford to teach so that we don't continue to increase staff? Let us downsize the course offerings. Yeah? We were offering like 500 plus courses. We said, no, let's go to about 300, there about 300 plus. But I believe that because we want relevance and vibrancy, we can still push them down further. That one, Senate will engage, discuss and see which one do we continue to downsize so that we focus where we have a competitive edge as a university. We cannot just do what everybody else is doing. We must do where we know that when we do, we are the best in this. So we will continue to manage that. When we reduce the courses, you and reducing the administrative units in the university, then progressively you can be able to manage the staff sizes. Because now you don't hire more. And when those who uh, retire, you can now retool those you have to take over that responsibility also. Yeah? So through natural attrition. So you have said that we will now not be bringing in new people in the university. That is in terms of staff. In terms of staff. We will be retraining those we have yeah, to take up new responsibilities. Yeah? So that in the near future, we'll be able to, to, to begin to see the benefits of the decisions we have made. We have a huge asset base. We are in a discussion with the Treasury because you know all assets in the government assets are taken to be in the first seasons in the university concerns or prestato concerns and then after that the treasury. Yeah? So to see what will be the 
appropriate way within which registration to put those assets which we have here in Nairobi and out of Nairobi to profitable use to be able to help us in the immediate. Now, when we are thinking about the science and engineering complex, when we need it, it's not that we will not have somewhere to build such a thing. You get it? Yeah. So that is the, 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 the discussion we are having now to see how can we use that resource base. Because the University of Nairobi has a huge resource base, over 200 billion. Even when you hear that we have this for billion, we have not paid five billion, we need to pay it because we need cash, you know. <laughs> Liquid cash, you know, you can just be very rich, you have very huge tracts of land, but you don't have real cash. That is actually where the problem is. Yeah. So the issue is how can we unlock, unlock, yeah, unlock this and get cash without releasing those things to private hands. They remain university in Nairobi, but we make money out of them. When any academic member of staff is hired in the university, you are hired to teach and you are hired to carry out research and to come up with innovation. So that is another stream we are counting on, the exploitation of intangible assets. Copyrights, trademarks, patents. Because here we have the best brain, so we want to continuously try to cultivate an innovation culture where uh, professors come up with, with, with issues and we now try to fight to establish mechanisms of ensuring that this goes to the market. Yeah. We have an IP office where we have a dedicated staff at professor level who has been trained in issues of marketing, teaches marketing, to lead in this area. We want to see how is it we can make it very um, uh, comfortable yeah? and interesting for you to study because you begin to see the connection between, between what you are learning in the classroom and what you are going to do. So by bringing this element of innovation and making them excited about the learning, bring the industry because we plan to, have to, to provide space for those who want to be manufacturers and all this to, to occupy some of the rooms and the spaces there so that the students can get attachments. Can, now they look at, they, they can see where they are going when they finish. So there's no need for dropping now yeah, because we are practicing. You need to create a community of scholars, researchers, learners, and the innovators, that is the faculty, the students, and those in, in, doing innovation, and also the industry. You need to put them together. Those in the industry are saying what are the problems they are encountering. The students are using their brain to begin to think the solutions. The faculty are interacting with the students. The researchers are interacting. We need them to put them in a community. And we have conceptualized that the ideal way to do this is to put them into one building where they go have coffee together, go to the library together, go to the common areas where they are relaxing together, and as they talk, those disciplines, you begin not to see those boundaries. They become a continuum. It is then we think that this will bring in what we are looking for an innovation culture where we, we begin to get products be generated from there. And then also we bring in more element of internationalization. More students from other countries come because of this unique model of training science and engineering. More international students come, start to come. We begin to see, look, or we are looking also for more opportunities for linkages and partnerships with other universities because of this unique model. So we have been trying to, uh, to look for various partners to ensure that they can provide accommodation uh, to our students. Akon has come in handy because they were able to identify a piece of land just 
next to our, our, our border. Yeah? They are in Shiromo. You saw where they are. So they, they, they will be part of, like, they part of the university community. Yeah. And you see there, they are going to accommodate like about 2,800 2, students. The whole university of Nairobi with all the campuses is only able to accommodate 9,000 9, students, 9,000 to 10,000. So this uh, will change. The, 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 not address the whole, all the problem, but it will change the, that need. And then we hope that, uh, as he, I was discussing with them, Akon, they are still looking for other piece of land and there is prospect. They may get some other closer to the university. The main so, campus. Yeah, uh, here, main, here main, within the main campus. If they do get, again, another number there. We, as University of Nairobi, we don't emphasize on numbers. We emphasize on the quality. That is why I had to ensure that we have only the active students. I don't know whether you, you saw even there are some who are trying to make noise that we are trying to remove. We, if you have not been active, we removed our system, you know, so that we focus on those who have registered with us and they have time to spend with us so that they come out the best. We have to remove you. You have to make a commitment that you will follow through our program so that we keep you as our student. Otherwise, we will not keep you as a student. You write, and if you write and you explain yourself, we put you back. Yes. So it's not that we forget about you completely. If you, you say, now I've changed, I'm now a better person, then we take you back. Yeah. You can ask for permission for deferment for one year. You can ask for deferment, even formally, but you know some of them did not ask this. They just went away. Yeah. Those are the ones we are removing. But if you had requested yourself, then you are not thrown out. Yeah. If you are the one who had written, I want a deferment for one year, there's no problem. And the maximum period for defer deferring. You, you know, you, yes, you know the thing is, uh, the Senate rules is that if a program is four years, you can take it in eight years. This is the rules in the university. So you, you, all the development you can do in there, so long as eight years do not lapse before you finish. Yeah. So you have four years, you have an extra four. Yes, yes. Where you, you defy, you can defy every year, you defy every year, you see. Yeah, yeah. That's what you do. If, it is a project, if a program is two years, we give four years. So we have three organizations under the Ministry of Education and the Department of University Education and Research. We have NRF, National Research Fund. We have Dacosti, yeah? And we have Kenya, Kenya National uh, Innovation Agency. If you find their funding, they are just funded to pay, this, to pay for salaries for staff, yeah? Even NRF, how much money is it given to give to you, you, to give for research? Nothing. Here you have the best brains in the universities. The teachers and the students. How come we have continued to privatize research? People come to do PhD, people come to do masters, they finance themselves in a country like this one. So they do it just to get a paper for promotion. No, we need to ensure that that good brain the research they do is to address a problem we have in the country. But if they are doing it for their own sake, they are financing it from their own pocket, then they can as well pick any problem they want to do. That's why we say that those things are gathering dust. But they were not yours. They were, belong to that person. 